What's going on everybody? I hope you're having a good day so far. So these past couple weeks were mostly just about getting all of my ideas written down and trying to come up with everything to say in this video. This video is really just going to be a synopsis of all of the thoughts and feelings I've had over the course of March. It's going to be a more serious video. I know the background gameplay is this goofy Team Fortress 2 game, but it's just going to be some talking. And once again, I tried to summarize everything as best as I could. I apologize if it sounds a little out of order. I was going to record this yesterday, uh, but with the April Fool's video and everything, I didn't sort out the script yet, so I had to do it today instead, and you'll see why as I talk today, so let's begin, and let's get right into this. Also, I just want to apologize if I sound stuffy at all, um, it's that time of the year again, you know, hay fever, everybody's favorite. So first off, I got that new microphone, it's the Blue Spark Digital, it arrived pretty quickly, but you may be wondering why I'm not using the new microphone right now. Well, first of all, I don't exactly have this thing set up just yet obviously I just got this thing and I'm still trying to figure some things out and trying to get a good setup going but you see I've actually been having some second thoughts about what I said I was testing out the microphone trying to figure it out and all of that but the thing is I don't think I really need a new microphone now I know about everything I said in the last video and all of that but I don't think I'm really ready for it yet and I don't mean like mentally I mean the place I'm in just isn't ready for it yet as I was testing the microphone I found that it was picking up a lot of background noise. Now, I'm not sure how good it is at blocking out background noise, but I think it's really just because of the place I live in. I live right by a main road, and there's lots of ambient noise outside, and also the walls of my house aren't very good at keeping out noise either. I think it just has to do with that. And because of that, because of the fact that I can't block out that much noise, I think even with this new microphone, I would still have to wear headphones to hear the game, otherwise it would just echo too much, which completely defeats the reason why I wanted a studio microphone in the first place. And that couldn't even happen anyways because for some reason, this microphone stops the sound going to your headphones when you use it. It's really weird and I don't know if I can fix it, so I'm just gonna try to maybe figure it out, but if I can't, then I'm just gonna send it back and get the money back for now. I feel like it was the wrong kind of microphone too. I think I got a little ahead of myself and I didn't think too much before I made the purchase. And also, I don't think I really need a studio microphone yet anyways. Because while a studio microphone can make things a little easier, and allow you to do some things that you can't do with the headset microphone, I can't help it if the house I live in isn't made for that kind of recording, or if the area of town I live in is busy. A lot of people use them, but I don't have a lot of money, and I feel like the headset microphone is honestly fine for now. I don't think it was the microphone that was causing me to feel the way I felt during recording. I think it's just that I'm, I'm too... I'm too tense, like I'm not relaxed enough when recording, and I just don't have a good frame of mind, and I don't know why, but it's just exhausting sometimes, and I can't find the positivity in things sometimes. And I think that stems from a number of problems, and one of them is that I think I'm being too hard on myself. I was trying to be a perfectionist with how I sound, and even though I know I always sound fine in the end, I was still worried about how I sounded, and I mean, I usually do say things fine, but as soon as I mess up a word, I just start saying the line over and over trying to fix it, and that causes me to start overthinking it. And you know, sometimes you mess up a line and you have to say it again, but I think I was overreacting each time I messed up what I was saying. So I thought a studio microphone would let me record without wearing headphones, thus allowing me to hear myself more clearly so that I don't mess up lines. But I realized that a lot of the times I mess up a line, it just comes from me like not breathing correctly almost. It's, it's hard to explain, but it's like... I just, I just get tense whenever I do these. It's like I'm not relaxing, and it kind of ties into how I'm being a little too hard on myself. I feel like, I feel like doing it for too long without taking a break to calm down just wears me out. And after repeating lines for minutes, trying to perfect them, making sure I sound good enough to myself, by the end of a recording, I just feel exhausted and tired. And this brings me into my next problem. I think I just have really bad OCD when it comes to this stuff. I overthink too much, I take this too seriously, and all all of this has been leaving some bad impacts lately. I would often have these off days where I just didn't feel like doing anything. I was so exhausted from making YouTube videos that I didn't want anything to do with it. And whenever I had one of those off days or off moments, I would start to spiral into a state of apathy and almost depression. I wouldn't say it's depression because it's not severe. It's just this lack of happiness and motivation that I would get. I would start to procrastinate with these things, not just YouTube, but everything I was doing in life. I would put off one thing which caused me to delay another another thing which delayed another thing, and it was just this chain of not getting things done. Before I knew it, I was stressing out about finishing things by these deadlines, 
that I was setting for myself sometimes. This in turn caused time to feel like it was moving too fast and I would worry about what I was going to do the next day after that one and it would only make that next day come quicker and I would just hit the breaking point. I've been feeling like this almost every day for the past month. In fact, I had one of these moments yesterday before I reorganized my script. I just felt like the week went by so fast and I'm not sure if I really made the most out of it. It's been doing some bad things to my health too. I've been losing my appetite stressing out over these things and I don't think I've been eating very healthy recently. I haven't been drinking as much water every day either, which is probably even worse. I've also been losing sleep over this stuff. I think about a year ago I used to get 7 hours of sleep, and then it slowly turned into 6, and now I only get an average of 5 hours of sleep every night. I've basically screwed up my internal clock, and I think I've been starting to see some side effects. I may feel like I'm alive during the day, but on the inside I'm depriving my body of the sleep that I should be getting, especially for my age. I've been feeling tired throughout the day, and I've almost fell asleep in school sometimes, and this may not have such a big impact now, but if this kept up, it could have some bad consequences in the future. All of this just because of making YouTube videos. But March wasn't just filled with apathy and depression. This March was like a roller coaster, lots of ups and downs. And every time I had one of those crashes, I would cool off, I would relax, and I would always come back even better than I was before with a sudden feeling of enlightenment. I would start to see the positive side of things again, and I would remind myself of all of the things I was forgetting about making YouTube videos that I had said before, and I would start to write down everything I was feeling in that moment right there. I was starting to realize that I really was overthinking these things, and that's not a healthy way to be thinking. I realized that I can change for the better. I just need to organize my thoughts and focus on what I really wanted to change about the way I do things, regardless of what equipment or software I have. And I've compiled all of my ideas into a list, so here are the six most important things that I've learned over the past month. Number one, and this first idea kind of branches out into all the other ideas. It's basically the main idea. I should live in the present. Don't worry about the past. I shouldn't think about how I could have made days in the past better because everything can always be better and there's always another day to do something. I can't prolong my time off. There would eventually be a point when the break ends. It just is what it is, so I need to think about how I can make the next break even better. And I also shouldn't worry about what I'm going to do in the future. I'm not saying I don't make any goals for the future. I'm I'm just saying I shouldn't try to plan out exactly what I'm going to do because it seems like whenever I plan something it never goes as I planned it and it ticks me off every time so I shouldn't think about that and the future will get here when it gets here you know don't think about the next day until it's the next day Two. Whenever I get the chance to reset my list of things to do, I should get things done as fast as possible. Not rush them, but just do them and try to get them done. But in a positive mood too, I can't think negatively about it, because I found that these things are really easy to do if I just immerse myself in them and just enjoy them, and the reward at the end will be really great. 3. If I'm having an off moment where something isn't going right, then I should just take a little break and relax for a little bit, and then come back to it later. Or if I'm having an off day where I don't feel like doing anything, then I should just call it a day off, take some time to recollect myself and just enjoy life. But that's not all. Then I make the next day even better. Take the things I didn't do good one day and do them even better the next day, because there's always another time to do something, and most things are never as best as they can be the first time around. Number 4. If something takes more than one day to do, or if it just takes a long time, then so what? I'm not in a rush to do anything, so I should just take my time and make it as good as I can, and I understand that I have limited and a strict budget, so I just have to work with what I have until I'm able to upgrade. I've discovered new ways to make my videos better using Movie Maker, but it comes with the cost of taking more time. I'm honestly surprised that I even got this far by just using Movie Maker, because it's probably one of the worst things Microsoft has ever made. And even when I get Vegas Pro, I'll still have to learn some tricks with it, and it might still take some effort to make a video, but I just need to practice enjoying the process if this is really something that I want to do. I've learned to not think and just do. Don't worry about how I sound and just say it, because it's always fine in the end. I shouldn't get so tense over this kind of stuff. I should just relax and do it naturally. I shouldn't try to perfect my lines, because it should just be a natural thing, just speaking normally, and nobody really cares about it. Nobody really cares about how I sound in a video. As long as I put effort into it and make it as good as I can, that's really all that matters. I just can't let the headphones bother me. Plenty of people wear headphones while talking talking and making YouTube videos, so if they can do it, then I can do it too. It's a scientific fact that nobody likes how they sound to themselves, we're all just a bunch of perfectionists. But there is a way to avoid thinking like that, to just be satisfied with it, and to not let
let it hold you back and that's the key to succeeding in this kind of thing don't worry about what time it is or what day it is just do it and be happy with it whatever it is i'm doing because today isn't the last day of the world and it's certainly not the last day of my youtube journey and six i shouldn't act like this is a job or something i have to do because it's not it's just supposed to be a hobby it's supposed to be a fun thing to do something to enjoy and it shouldn't be taken so seriously if i have other things to do in life that are more important than making youtube videos which most of them are then i shouldn't try to force making videos and i should get those other things done first i need to stop making deadlines for myself and i just need to remember what i said about how it's not when the video gets uploaded but it's what the video is about that counts i keep forgetting that my ocd is very strong but i'm learning to go against it i'm learning to stop my overthinking i can't let this become an unhealthy obsession because it shouldn't be it should just be a fun pastime not some sort of chore i need to relax and just do it for the fun of it and with the amount of views my videos actually get it's not worth pushing myself anyways my videos usually never get more than a hundred views and i don't know if anything will change in the future so all i should really be doing is just enjoying this for what it is i shouldn't worry about getting certain videos out by certain deadlines because nothing ever goes well when i stress out about it like that i've got plenty of time in my future to figure things out and who knows how long i can keep this hobby up but the future will get here when it gets here and i don't know what the future holds so for now i should just relax enjoy this whole experience and look at things positively okay so that last one was a little long i will admit i kind of went off on a tangent there but to summarize everything I've been trying to change recently. I've been looking at things differently, and I've been trying to find the positive things in everything that I do. And this new way of thinking might not be something that takes me two days to integrate into my life, but I feel like if I try hard enough, I could change my frame of mind for the better. I've been practicing some methods of time management. I've been working on getting rid of my OCD and trying to stop overthinking everything. I've been practicing some breathing exercises and trying to improve my frame of mind during recording sessions. I've been learning not to take this so seriously and to just enjoy it for what it is. I've been learning to live in the present and to not try to fix the past because the past is the past and it's impossible to change. So I just need to take what I can learn from the past and apply that to what I can do in the present and how I can make things better the next time. But I've also learned not to plan out my future or what I'm going to do exactly because I found through doing this that plans change all the time. Nothing ever really goes exactly as you expect it. I've been trying to not be so hard on myself and to take this for what it is, a hobby, not a job. I find it a weird coincidence that it seems like a lot of other YouTubers were going through some things too during this past March. I haven't been caught up on his channel recently, but I found out that Jake Roper was feeling on and off too. And I mean, his situation is far more serious. I mean, this isn't just being exhausted like I was. He has cancer, he has radiation that was causing his mood to change like that. And his hiatus was three times longer than mine, but he did make a few videos on his own time covering these topics. They basically summarize everything I felt during this March. He does videos like this all the time. You should definitely check his channel out. But also, another example is when Leafy and H3H3 and that group of YouTubers had a bit of a brawl. They were going through some drama, and I'm sure it made them feel like shit too. They were forced to take some time off of YouTube as well, and in fact, Pyrocynical even mentioned that he was considering on quitting YouTube altogether because of it. I mean, quitting what you're successful at or what you like to do just because of a little situation like that. It should never have to come to that and you know I will admit that I was also kind of contemplating quitting YouTube as well I thought you know maybe I should just stop all of this but then I remembered that giving up is not an option if I want to be successful and not just in YouTube but for things in general then I can't think like that and I was seeing some other situations this March that were kind of bad too I just find it a really weird coincidence it's like March was just a strange month for everyone but even with all of these ups and downs and all of these mixed thoughts I've been having I think what I went through this March was an overall good experience. I don't mean to sound like I'm stuck up or anything like that, but I feel like I really did come up with a lot of good points that I can use as future reference. I guess you really do change all the time, and March changed me in a way that I kind of didn't want to happen at first, but at the same time, I accept that sometimes we change in ways that we thought we never would, and we just gotta go with it. Sometimes we go through things that cause us to adopt new ways of thinking, new frames of mind, and that's completely normal. I mean, why do you think there's so many books and articles written about thinking positively and 
and living a better life. March 2016 was definitely a month I won't forget. It was an unexpected yet interesting little trip, and in the end, I'm kind of glad that everything went the way it did more than anything else. I mean, if it didn't go the way it did, I would probably still be rushing out the Super Paper Mario videos like I was back in February. I would still be stressing myself out over it. And I feel like it was inevitable. I feel like even if I did just continue everything like it was before March, I feel like this would still eventually happen. There would still be a point in time when I would just have a crash and go through all of this. It was bound to happen sometime because that stress really was starting to build up before all of this happened. And I'm not sure if I would have been able to carry that feeling into the following months anyways. I feel like there would eventually be a breaking point. Everything may have seemed like it was fine back in February and January, but it really wasn't. I was really starting to contemplate a lot of things. So I'm glad I learned all of the things I did because I feel like in the end, it's not even about what equipment or software I have. It's really just the experience itself that matters. And I just need to enjoy it and learn to have a better time doing it. I've been thinking in ways that I never thought I would have at all, but it's a positive change. And I think that's really gonna allow me to enjoy making videos a lot more than I ever have. And in the end, what you learned from an experience is the most important thing about it. So that's basically everything I had to say. Now I'm gonna actually take these ideas. I'm gonna wait a month. I'm gonna wait until the end of April. And I'm gonna look back at this video then. And I'm gonna see if what I said was true and the next monthly update video I think is gonna be about trying to find a better way to word all of this because I still feel like it's a little long and confusing I feel like I need to practice summarizing my thoughts better and I really want to make something out of this But hey, we'll see about it when we get there. That's all for today's video guys I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something from it, too And I'll catch you guys on another video. My next one is gonna be super paper Mario We're finally gonna get back to it. I can't wait But I also want to let you know that I think I'm gonna be taking the second week of April off from YouTube because I have a school presentation that week and I really got to practice for it so I'm gonna be off from YouTube not this week but next week the week of April 10th I feel like that's a good time to take off just so I can relax a little bit so I can stop thinking about all of this and just so I can really have the proper time off that I never gave myself this week but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing a few Super Paper Mario videos before that just to get back into the mood so that's all for now have a good day everybody my voice is killing me I hate these allergies. I will see you all later. Peace out, everyone.